So we've done the cycle sequencing on the thermocycler. My plates are still in the thermocycler. Um, they're going to finish in a little while. And before they finish, I want to prepare the Cephidex plate. Uh, Cephidex is a B, and there's a number that goes with it. In our case, we're using Cephidex T50 that corresponds to the size of the B. The number does. And uh, we use this to clean out the unincorporated nucleotides and the primers from the sequencing reaction. So what we need to do is use this, this is a filter plate. It's called a filter plate because there's hard, clear plastic on top, a soft plastic on the bottom. This softer plastic is actually holding together a filter, a filter paper that's sandwiched between these two types of plastic. Don't take this off. Like these is, this is not meant to be removed. It always stays like this, okay? So what we're going to do is create our own column, our own Cephidex column. We're going to add Cephidex to each of the wells here and the Cephidex needs to hydrate with water. It's pretty, it has some pretty unique properties. We'll add water and let it sit for at least 30 minutes to an hour. Three hours isn't bad. Once that's been hydrated, then we'll put a catch plate underneath like this one. Okay, we'll put the two plates together, put them in a centrifuge. When we place them in a centrifuge, of course they're flat, they're in a bucket rotor, and so it'll rotate up like this when the centrifuge is spinning. The centrifugal force will push the liquid through the filter and this plate will catch any liquid coming out the other side. Small oligonucleotides and the unincorporated nucleotides will be stuck in the Cephidex bees. The long fragments will actually pass through and eventually what we want is what's in this catch plate, okay? The second time we spin. The first time we spin, we get rid of all the excess water we added to hydrate the Cephidex. The second time we spin, well, then we'll have our column prepared, right? We'll have a bunch of water in this plate. We separate the two, take them out of the centrifuge, dump out the water, or even get a new tray that's, that's clean, okay? Put a brand new plate like this underneath, okay? We're at our sequencing reaction on top of the Cephidex column. And now, with the sequencing reaction in there, um, we spin it, and anything that goes through, this is what we want. This is what we want to keep. The stuff that's stuck in the Cephidex, the extra unincorporated nucleotides, extra primer and things like that that are really small, they're stuck in the Cephidex and we throw that away. Um, this is the process of separating the labeled fragments that can be detected in the electrophoretic machine upstairs, the ABI sequencer, from the uh, unincorporated nucleotides and things. And so we, we have to get rid of those to get good readable sequence in the end. Now, You'll understand more of this as we go through, and it'll probably be more clear as I use the examples. Now there are four of these rings, and they're in this drawer here. They do not leave this drawer when you're done using them. Um, there are only four for the entire lab. So these rings are actually fasteners, if you will, to hook together the filter plate to the catch plate, okay? That's just so they don't come apart while it's spinning. It holds them on fairly tightly. We need a balance. Um, today I've actually done, or what's on the centrifuge are two, micro, are two entire plates for sequencing, so we're going to do them together. It'll be a balanced reaction. Um, so then we're going to have another catch plate. So we'll put this on either side of the centrifuge and then they'll spin, okay? Now we have to add Cephidex to all these columns, to every single well, because I've made a large plate of sequencing. For you guys in 310, you'll most likely only be doing the first eight, maybe 16 depending on your circumstances, but for most often during the class, you'll be just using eight, eight wells at a time for sequencing. Now, to do the Cephidex, we've got the plate set up here, okay? Now, we need to get the right amount of Cephidex into each one of these wells. If you want to do that, I often will put a uh, paper towel down first. Each one of these holes is the same size. It's been drilled or machined to the same size. And we fill up each one of these holes with Cephidex. And then essentially we put the plate on upside down, turn the whole contraption over, the Cephidex powder dumps into the wells, then we have all the Cephidex, the same amount of Cephidex in each well. Okay? Then we simply add water to all the wells. You have to be careful. It's easy to put too much Cephidex on here, and there is a spatula here to smooth out the Cephidex. 
So it's best to have this smooth anyway, okay? Or scraped off. Now we're going to add Cephidex. I don't need to have a mound on every single well. It'll fill up as I drag this thing across, you'll see. The reason why we have this is so you don't have to keep pouring all the Cephidex. So much Cephidex. In fact, I've even put too much here. Just because the more I piss, I pour out, the more I'm going to spill and the harder it is to get back into the into the bottle. Okay, so I've got a lot of Cephidex here. All the excess Cephidex. The reason why I have a paper towel underneath is to catch anything, and I'll even put that into the into the tube into the uh, tube as well. Oop, there it goes. Okay, so I'm putting a lot of the excess Cephidex back into the into the bottle. Okay, scrape out some of these sides. Okay, not particularly pretty, but uh, sufficient. Okay, cover this up so I don't knock it over. Now I'm going to get my first plate. Doesn't matter where A, B, C, and D are. There is a peg here. If I push this plate up against the peg this way, that means all the wells are aligned. So now when I flip this over, okay, now they all have the Cephidex in it. I just Gently tap it out. Okay, now we need to do plate two. See how all the wells are full. If some of them aren't full, I just move the pile back and forth. Now, I don't know, it's not really a trick, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to tip this bottom, this black plate too much because Cephidex will start sliding out. So I try and keep it kind of flat and scrape back what I can. A whole plate is a little, I'm not particularly talented at this, a whole plate is more complicated than just the eight wells. If you just do eight, it's, it's a lot easier. Flip it over, put it against the peg, lift up the metal form, tap a little bit of Cephidex out. Okay, put this on a catch plate. Now, you need to wipe this off when you're done using it. It should be cleaned off before they go into the drawer. I'm simply going to get what Cephidex I can still on this towel. Pour it in there. Getting a little bit of distilled water. And just wiping up all this excess Cephidex because it does make a mess and get everywhere. Okay, put that there. I just have a damp cloth. I'm just wiping that Cephidex off so it's just not filling the drawer full of uh, material. Some of these have Cephidex in it. We're going to have to clean them out later.